Editing video on your mobile phone is easy with an app called InShot. InShot is available on Apple or on Google Play. It has a ton of cool features, including filters and effects. They provide you with copyright-free music that you can use with no penalties. They also give you access to stickers and video text effects that you're gonna love. Today, I'm gonna do a basic InShot video editing tutorial that will show you the best features and how to get started right away so that you can produce more video for YouTube, more video for social media, and dominate your niche. Let's get started, I'm Owen Video. Owen Video! In today's tutorial, we're gonna work on editing a video, so I'm gonna tap on the video tab. But notice how down below my previous video drafts, a total of 348, are already stored in the cloud for me. So let's say that you wanna go back and check out a video that you edited three months ago, you'll be able to do that with InShot. But for today's tutorial, we're gonna click on new. And now we can choose video, we can choose photos, or we can choose everything. See this video up here that's four minutes and five seconds? That's the video that we're gonna edit today. I'm gonna click on that. And I could actually click on all of these if I wanted to add these clips, but today we're just gonna do some basic editing in one file. And I'm gonna click the green check mark to get started. Now I'm inside the video editing canvas. And immediately we notice that the canvas is vertical, but I'm editing a video that's widescreen. So the first thing I need to do is change the canvas. And we do that by tapping on canvas in the left-hand side, and then picking what size video I wanna edit. Notice I can choose a square canvas. I can choose a four by five canvas. I can choose a vertical or TikTok canvas. And I can choose a 16 by nine canvas, which is widescreen. And that's exactly what I wanna use. So I'm gonna click the white check mark here. Now, this white check mark, you'll see it all the time. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you click that because that's how you get out of an effect and back into the main editing platform. So I'm gonna click on that now. The next thing I want you to notice are the tools down here at the bottom. Notice I can also add stickers. So when I come into the sticker section here, I can tap on stickers again, and I can do a couple different things here. Number one is I have all of these stickers, emojis, and these are all things that I've downloaded from the InShot store for free, because I pay 15 bucks a year for the, the platform, and I can click on any one of these, and then it appears right here in my video. I can X out of that if I don't want to use it. But the best part of the sticker sections are the GIF section. Notice how I can tap on a GIF and pull Michael Scott right into my video. I freaking love this feature. But even more so, I love using the stickers to add my own phone images into a video. So I can click on the image icon right there next to GIF, and then I can choose an image from my camera roll and I can add that into my video at any given time. Now, I have a variety of other features here that I'm not really gonna cover today because truly I don't really use them. I don't use picture-in-picture -picture too much. I don't use pre-cut too much, but I use split all the time, and I'm gonna show you how to do that today. I also use delete, volume, and speed a whole lot. The point is, is that you get a ton of great features with InShot. What's really important to note though, is that this is not a tool for multi-line editing, which means you can't pull in one thing of video and then more video on top of it, okay? This is for one line of editing. You can add images on top, but you can't add video on top of video, and that's really important. We're gonna need a different kind of app for that. And really, it's probably too complicated. So let me show you how we can use InShot to quickly edit a one-take video. This is a video that I filmed in one take, and I need to trim off the beginning and trim off the end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of scrub through the video a little bit here and find out you know, where my actual starting point is. So let's watch the video now. See, that's me just kind of getting set up and getting the camera right. Hey, everybody. Oh. See, I messed up. Sup, guys? Today I want to talk about... No, no. Messed that. up again. So I'm going to do, like, 
Here we go. The most important part And that's where I want to start my video. So I'm going to use my thumb here, and that's all I'm doing is just kind of moving my thumb on the, the line here. And I'm just going to find that entry point where I just start to talk. Watch, I'll look for that in that inward right there. Okay, what I'm going to do then is highlight the, the line there and click split. Then I'm going to highlight the first section here and click delete, and it should start right where I want it to start. The most important part of your video is the first thing that you say. And so today I'm going to share. Great. I got it. Now what I want to do is go trim off the end. So I'm going to go down to the end here. You can see that it's like a three minute video and like I walk out, right? So let's just kind of watch the end. Now I'm Owen and I'll see you there. Boom. I ended right there. Okay. So I'm going to let smile for just a split second. So it's not too fast. Hit split, hit delete. And now I'm I'm done, right? Like I'm fully, fully done. So what I want, because I'm not going to edit anything in the middle right now. We're going to do that in, in future videos. Let me show you a couple quick techniques though that you could use when you're editing your video. The first one I'm going to show you is how to zoom in and zoom out. So watch this. I'm going to go ahead and play the video and find a good place to zoom in. The most important part of your video is the first thing that you say. Right there. Now I'm going to split and I'm going to let it run again. And so today I'm going to share with you the best way to open up your video so that your viewers will watch. Boom. Before I say, let's get started. Now here, that's a good message. Watch what I can do here. I can tap and hold and then look at all my clips and navigate between them very, very easily. So that's a great little feature there. What I'm going to do is that I already split this one. Now I need to split it again. Okay. Right there before let's get started. I'm going to split it again and press and hold. See, now you see I have three clips. I'm going to go to the middle clip now. Okay, so I'm, that's the first clip. And this is the middle clip. I'm going to come over to Canvas. I'm going to click on Zoom. And then in Zoom, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my thumbs here to kind of like zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to adjust the headroom so that it's accurate. And then I'm going to click that white check mark. And now what I'll have is I have a zoomed in section. Let's watch how that plays out. The most important part of your video is the first thing that you say. And so today I'm going to share with you the best way to open up your video so that your viewers will watch. Let's get started. I'm Owen Video. You see how perfectly that worked out? So now what I want to do is add some stickers or some on-screen effects just to make this video a little bit more interesting. So let's fast forward to the place where I said hundreds of thousands of views if not millions of views. Okay, right there. So what I'm going to do is just kind of back up a little bit and I'm going to click on the sticker button. I'm going to click on sticker again. So for this video, I'm going to pick the diamond just because I like it and it will contrast the blue. All right. So now I'm going to click the white check mark and I can use my fingers on the screens to stretch out the diamond, kind of put it where I, I want to put it while testing it on video just like this. I love that. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to go back to the kind of line it up with the, the beginning of the effect. Click the white check mark. I told you we were going to use that a lot. Now what I'm going to do is click music. I'm going to click effect and I'm going to scroll through my sound effects to find, I think a bell is really good and let's find the right bell. I'm not sure that's, that's too Bessie. That's really good. So I'm going to click the use button. Notice how that sound effect appears on my timeline and it's already synced up with my sticker. Let's play it. To hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views. Boom. You see that? Easy. So I'm going to click the white check mark. Now what I want to do is add some text to support the three big points in my video. So I'm going to go to the point in my video where I talk about these three things. One here and there are three parts to a hook. There are the visual components. That's where I'm going to start, where I'm saying number one. So I'm going, to, I'm going to kind of just back up a little bit. I'm going to click on text and my text editor pops up. Here's where I'm going to put number one, your visual hook. Notice my modifier tabs down here. I can click on the color wheel here and I can choose the color of my text, which is white. I can choose the color of my border. Right now I don't have a border, but I could easily click on that and make a yellow border around my text. You can see that obviously I don't care for that. So I'm going to click the null sign here and just get rid of it. I could add a shadow, maybe add a yellow shadow to that 
and I can even adjust the settings on my shadow so you can get really granular here. Now I'm of course not gonna use a shadow, but I also have a label. Notice the black label that I have on my text now, but I can easily click that and turn that into a red label, which I actually really like in this setting. And then I can choose opacity. I can also choose different types of text that I wanna use in my video. I always use Babis because it's all caps and bold, but the thing I wanna show you most is that you can add text effects like this to make the text appear in a high quality way. I can also make the text shape. This is kind of cheesy for me, like I don't particularly care for that, but you do have those features and I have some of these cool features here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this feature and then what I'm gonna do is just extend this a little bit and put it at the bottom of my screen and click the white check mark. And now you can see that I can actually drag this out and keep it up longer if I want it to stay longer. Let's take a look at what that is gonna look like. To a hook. There are the visual component to your hook. What's going on in your background? What is the viewer? Boom, I love it. Now, let's say that I wanna repeat that process over to part two and part three of what I talk about in this video. Let me show you how to do that. You click on text and what you're gonna do is just extend the text box a little bit, okay? And then you're gonna split it. Now what I'm gonna do is tap and hold on this text and I'm gonna move it to the point in my video where I talk about the second thing I wanna talk about. I'll tap on the text again, extend it out, and then I'm gonna click on the edit button above the K. Now I can come in here and change the text to say my verbal hook. And in this way, you can quickly add text to multiple parts of your video without spending too much time. Last thing I wanna show you is how to add background music. And this is gonna be great, not only for your long form YouTube videos, but also for doing copyright free reels in YouTube shorts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on music and I'm gonna scroll for some music that I like. I've really enjoyed Not The King in the past. So I'm gonna just kind of pick whatever. Notice the little gray guys on the right hand side. That means I've already used that song before. I'm gonna pick a song I haven't used. How about Two Space? Let's take a listen. It works for me. I'm gonna click the pink download button. I'm gonna click use. And the song will appear right here. Now I'm gonna play it and I want you to notice the, the differentials in my voice versus the music I just added. The most important part of your video is the first thing that you say. So it's still pretty loud. So what I wanna do is tap on the music tab and then click edit. Now I can actually trim out the music if I wanted to, and I can adjust the volume, which is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna pull that actually down to more like 20% to where it's just barely noticeable. And then I wanna scrub through the video to make sure that the music lasts the entire time. Now it, it does not. So what I'm gonna do here is highlight my music and move my cursor to the end. Then I'm gonna scroll through my tools up top and I'm gonna click duplicate. I'm gonna drag this up so it's on the same line. And now I have an endless loop of music. Notice how when I go to the end, the music outlives the video. That's okay. InShot will only export where the video ends. So, well, I don't even have to worry about trimming out that music. If you wanted to, you could click, oops. Oh my gosh, I just messed up. What do I do? Check this out, left-hand side, an undo button. This is actually a new feature. I just click undo and my mistake is undone. I'm gonna click on split. I'm gonna click delete. And now my music ends when the video ends. Really big freaking deal, who cares, okay? I'm gonna go back to the beginning of my video. I'm gonna press play. The most important part of your video is the first thing that you say. And so today- I absolutely love it. I am done editing this video, so I'm gonna click the white check mark and I'm gonna go to the upper right hand side of the screen where there's the share button and I have my export settings here. Notice that I can export to 4K, but I can also choose different settings. I can do the same for frame rate and for format of which I tend to use MP4. Once all done, I'm gonna click save and you have to let this screen stay open until the video has done, has finished exporting. Now, once your video is done recording, you're gonna go to a screen that looks like this. 
I can either automatically share it to a social network, which I do not recommend. Never use these buttons, only upload on the platform itself. But the back arrow allows me to go back into the project and edit again. This is really helpful if you wanna like make quick changes without having to start all over again. My favorite thing to do is to just hit the home screen, which takes me back to this screen here where I can start a new video. Also, I can go into my phone's photos. I can view under my albums and see this video right here, the middle of the bottom is the video I just exported. And when I play that, I can see in here that my video has been exported and it looks fantastic. So now I'm ready to take this video and upload it to YouTube and let it get the views that it deserves. Now in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to go even deeper into InShot to make phenomenal videos using some of their best features. So click the video that's on your screen now and I'll see you there.